I've got this Ford M150. <laughs> All the airbags are deployed. Look at that. Wow. I want to check out these trucks over here. It's a Dodge 2500 and I believe a 1500. These are beautiful trucks, man. So this one has front sway. You can see the frame right here. Usually there's a frame rail right here and another frame rail right here. You can see how this frame rail is just pushed all the way this way. And there's so many cars now in the auction that there's no room I can't even open to, to get in there. And look at this one. This one's a 1500. Look at the frame rail on this one. It has front sway, the same thing. You could section them out, so that's good. But I can't open it. There's no room. There's so many cars here at the auction. Yeah, they're so close to each other that I can't even open. I was checking out this Lexus over here. It's like a champagne color. Beautiful. 79,000 miles. It's a 2013. These are beautiful cars, man. They're so insulated, you can't hear the road out there. This is the main damage right here. Quarter panel replacement. But if you take your time, you could repair this at home. You don't have to change it. It's not recommended, but you could repair it. And you have a $16,000 RX350 from Lexus. Look at that, she's beautiful. I mean, Dodge, Dodge, Toyota, Crossfire. The Palma, this one looks like it rolled over. It's a nice Chevy truck. This one has rear frame damage, because I looked at it already, but I'll show it to you guys. Beautiful truck, man. It's a ZZM Defoe 4x4. It's a 2014, 61,000 miles on it. It kind of looks like the GMC Sierra. A little bit. It's a little, it looks a little bit more simple. And here's the rear end. I got this, this frame right here. You can probably section this out, cut it, put a new one on. But I won't know unless I take it apart. But you can see the, this big old buckle on the bed over here. <laughs> so look at even the cab has damage. So I'm pretty sure this truck, the truck does have frame damage. I mean, if you could get it for the right price, it's worth buying. Otherwise, if you don't know what you're doing, it's not a good beginner's car. Let's go see what else is there. There's a lot of cars with way too much damage. Way too much, in my opinion. Lexus. Let's check out this Lexus. You're beautiful. 
Let's see if we see any frame damage. I see maybe fender apron, core support maybe. Yeah. You could, yeah, you could take this off. Resolder a new one. Well, the new one, I mean. <laughs> 2017 GS 200. 42,000 miles on it. Look at that. That is beautiful. Except for the fender right there, but. These are beautiful cars. This, this is the GS, so usually you'll see, find a lot of more chrome accents, like this window molding right there. It's usually a one-time use. So these are like the higher end of the Lexus line sedans. It's beautiful, man, beautiful. Let's see if I could buy one and rebuild it on the channel. Let's go see what else is there. Look at this. Look at this. How does that happen? Wow. Toyota. There's another Tacoma. Look at that Ford right there. It's pieces. It's for parts only. Tacoma. Pieces, pieces. Parts only. Look at this Camaro. Look at this beautiful Audi. That is beautiful. But look at the damage. It looks like a semi side swipe. Yep. Yeah. Airbags deployed. What is this? A6? Basics, because it's the bigger, wider body. It's still beautiful, man. 24,000 miles on it. Both airbags, curtain airbags were deployed. Look at this Jeep. There's another Jeep. Let's check her out. This looks like they went off roading on it. Fenders are MIA. They hit a person. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> it's a 14, 167,000 miles. It's just the front end damage. Guess so. I don't see I see just very minimal damage. Alright. Carry on. Just saw the rear end on this Kia Forte, whatever it is. Look at the core damage. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, comment if you have comments, and I will see you guys on the next one.